everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, uh, some people like to say, they like to play the cynic, you know. They say that all politicians are alike and uh, that there's no difference between the Republicans and the Democrats. These statements are usually accompanied by a smug, self-satisfied smile. These people are uninformed and intellectually lazy. If you can't tell the difference between Wendy Davis and Rick Perry, or Elizabeth Warren and Louis Gohmert, you're just not paying attention. So let's, as an intellectual exercise, imagine what would happen if both parties had full control of all three branches of government with uh, filibuster-proof majority in the Senate. Right now the Democrats are nominally in charge but can't really get anything passed in the Senate and the GOP has the House. So not much is getting done. But if the Democrats had control the minimum wage would be raised to ten dollars and ten cents which would help the economy to grow and it would cut the number of people on government assistance by 40 percent without harming anybody. This would reduce the deficit by several hundred million dollars. They would raise taxes on the rich, not nearly enough, and they would eliminate some corporate tax loopholes, also not nearly enough, but at least they would get rid of the subsidies for companies that are sending jobs overseas. Which again, this would reduce the deficit a bit more and help create job growth here. The banks would be more tightly regulated. Again, not nearly enough, but at least some. And so would the oil companies. There would be more funding and tax breaks for the development of alternative energy. There would also be a federal law passed protecting the right of citizens to vote. Now, I, 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 w I would imagine that if the Democrats were in charge, they would do some more of that nanny state shit, which is incredibly irritating. But overall, things would be pretty cool. Now, what would happen if the GOP ran things? We would be increasing our troop levels in Afghanistan instead of working on getting out of there. We would have boots on the ground in Syria, which would place our troops in the impossible situation of fighting both government forces and Islamist rebels. And we would be gearing up for war with Iran. All of these things would be paid for with borrowed money, which would increase the deficit by millions, billions of dollars. There would be no negotiations with the Palestinians and no pressure on the Israelis to arrive at a peace agreement. We would be alienating our allies and creating new enemies, which was the pattern set by the Bush administration. Here at home, there would be no minimum wage. Poverty programs would be all but eliminated. Abortion and birth control would be illegal. So we would have millions of more children being born and living in poverty. Taxes on the rich and corporations would be reduced without closing a single tax loophole. So the money spent on corporate welfare which is already five times more than we spend on helping the poor, would probably triple. Social Security and Medicare would be eliminated, plunging 80% of our senior citizens into poverty. And forget about voting the Republicans out. They would make it extremely difficult to vote passing federal laws that would disenfranchise tens of millions of legal American citizens. The end result would be a constant state of war, 
the extinction of the middle class, an increase in our national debt that we would probably never recover from, a Great Depression, and chaos. No differences between the parties. The differences are huge and stark. And as the GOP lurches to the right, they're growing every day. Thanks for listening.